Back in the coming six seven with the front main oil leak. Uh, just uh, want to show you where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready to start installing the front timing cover. Just wanted to show you something. This timing cover uses silicone for a seal. It doesn't have a paper or rubber seal or anything like that. So there's a lot of silicone that's left over from the silicone gasket or whatnot. So it is very important and very vital that you cover it up. As you can see, there is a ton of little trash all over, all, all that little excess silicone that's falling in. Now, it may seem a little bit over the top, but what I'm doing is right in here, let me turn on the light, right behind that paper bag is the actual inside of the engine. This is the crankshaft, and inside, right, there's, there's a, about a little one inch gap and a one inch gap on each side that allows anything to fall in there. That's part of the oil return from the, from the oil that lubes the gears. So, very important. This this is very important. You don't want these things falling in there. Yes, there's you know possibly no problems, but what if it gets caught up inside of the um, oil pickup and and clogs that, or if it makes it into the oil pump and enough big pieces like this right here start building up inside of the oil pump. The oil pump is not designed to to you you know uh, try to compress anything that's that's solid. It only compresses liquid. Uh, so you know. Things like that can go bad. Nonetheless, very important that you cover that up the best you can. Okay? So, right before we get to the next one. Also, also, just so you see, just to help you out. Just run it in there. You can use your pick. Run it along the sides. This right here will start building uh, the silicone right here as well. So, I just use that. And I also just use your old school, very ancient razor blade. So the razor blade, the pick, just gets it as good as you can. And just try to clean it up as good as you can. Once it's time for me to start taking all this off, all I'm going to do is pull these straight out. And then I'm going to blow it. The only benefit is, is that you get the most of it out. Some of it may fall in there. Either way, I'm doing an oil change on this. So a lot of it will go into the oil change that does fall in. The, the hope is that not much of it falls in, especially if you take it out from the top and work all your way down because the gap is down there. Okay. Also, I wanted to show you something else and show you why preventive maintenance is extremely important um, when doing this. First things first, I figured out, I think, what was going on with the front main seal. So I've already cleaned up the, the front main seal, uh, the cover. It was all caked with, uh, let me turn off that light so it doesn't blind you. So I covered up the, I already uh, cleaned up the front main seal. It was all caked with oil and gunk and all that. But... If you look at the front main seal right there, you see that lip? Let me turn it over. You see that lip? And I don't know if you remember in the video of the of the removal, I, I even spoke about that silicone. Like, hmm, why would there be silicone on the front main seal? There's a point somebody was in here. I don't know if they if they replaced the front main seal. I'm not sure what they did. But there's a point that somebody was in here and they caught the lip of the front main seal. That's why that looks like that. So uh, I'm not too sure the customer didn't state that any work was done here. He just mentioned about valve lash adjustment at the dealer, as you can see right there. That's not good. That's not a good thing. And here we go. This is why maintenance, preventive maintenance is very important. This is the water pump that I took out. Showed you guys on the removal if you look at it. Also kind of question, why is there silicone, things like that. Check this out. This water pump is already starting to crack, if you look at it. Look at that. This water pump is going to go on him here soon. It's already starting to crack. Uh, it's a plastic impeller. So it's starting to crack right at the at where it joins the, the shaft, the, the pulley shaft. See it right there? That's a cracked one. Look at, the, look at some of the fins on it. Broken. Like I said, I felt a little bit of play on it. That's the only reason I recommended it. Now, I couldn't force the customer to do it, but I let him know that, hey, you know, I'm already there. It's not, it's not any more labor, it's just uh, the price of the part. You know, that's just to take care of them. But nonetheless, that's why preventive maintenance is very important. So let me go ahead and get back to it. I've already cleaned this up. I'm gonna show you how to put some silicone on this. Then I'm gonna get it on there. We're gonna put it back together and this should be done, you know? So here in a couple hours, should have this bad boy running. Back to the customer, I gotta get back on other jobs. I gotta get back to that 6.0 power stroke with the ARP head studs and the complete engine reseal. That customer's on my butt. All right, talk to you guys soon.